Last thing I remember about last night um, was me crawling into my bunk and going to bed. I'm a little under the weather, so I haven't been feeling so good. And so, um, yeah, I went to bed kind of early. And I, the last thing I actually do remember would be me hoping that I don't wake up feeling worse than I did yesterday. It's so hard to maintain good health, you know, on tour. And fans are kissing you all over, you know, kissing you on the cheek. Like, all over, what the hell am I talking about right now? Well, I, I did not get to sleep uh, last night. It was I, I'm a little bit under the weather right now, as I usually get about a week into uh, UK or European tours. I, I tend to get sick. I don't know why that is. I think a lot of it's just the jet lag and exhaustion and the, and the climate change for me. But uh, so I didn't sleep very well. So I remember thinking, damn, I'm, I'm probably going to have a tough time singing tomorrow because I, I've been able to get almost no sleep. And then it was all kinds of banging and shit happening uh, with the, uh, the clothes hangers in the bus in the hallway and uh, just loud banging. And I remember just being annoyed by that until I finally got up. I would definitely be Ashley Purdy, our bass player. Um, that guy is on, well, I would say 24-7 right now. He's, he's napping, but probably because, uh, you know, he's, he's an animal at night. You know, you get him going a good two or three day binge, <laughs> he'll get the party going for sure. Oh, see? Then um, I, I, guess, I guess so. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I raged for two days when we first started the tour. Actually, after the Brixton show, then uh, it was like we all let our hair down, so to speak, and then we all raged for like two days straight and had a good time. I think it'd have to differ uh, between Ashley and I. I mean, you know, it kind of de depends. I mean, you know, we're not always on the same party schedule. That's what, actually what we call it is party schedule. But uh, yeah, I think the two of us together, man, the town better look out because we always. <laughs> caused quite a bit of trouble. This bus has been pretty good. Um, I, we're, since this is a European bus, we got two, two uh, double-deckers, and so we're up here on the, on the top story right now. Everyone's pretty clean downstairs. They don't leave a mess downstairs. So in the dressing room, I would have to say Jinx is the messiest. It just seems every time he tends to open a bag or a suitcase or anything, it's like it just explodes, and his stuff goes everywhere. Um, and I think it's because when he packs his stuff up, he just shoves it all in there and then like crams it shut. So next time he opens it, it literally just explodes and everything flies everywhere. He'll probably come in here and say he's not, but uh, all the other guys will testify that Jinx is the messiest person in the band. Well, now he'll say that he... Well, I said that he'll say that he is, he is not. Yeah, what, what was that one thing we did where he said that uh, he's everybody, the one that yeah, every day? Yeah, he showers every day. Everybody but him is the messiest. No, no way. Yeah. So that's it. So see, we had, a, we had a testament to Jinx being the messiest, smelliest, creepiest guy. Yeah, you know, probably me. I mean, <laughs> I can tend to be a little bit messy. I don't know, I'm, I, I guess just healthy food, food that is sustainable for me to be able to do this tour. I've got something like 79, 80 shows left on this run, and uh, I need to be able to maintain. So I healthy protein-based food that's gonna keep me from uh, from keeling over, I guess. One thing I can't live without would probably be Pepto. Pepto-Bismol. I don't know if you sell that in this country, uh, but yeah, just traveling and eating so many different foods and being on the go, I mean, it's, we all get upset stomachs and, and um, you know, like indigestion and stuff. And so I would say Pepto-Bismol for me, like that's my one thing I have to have. You know, before every tour, I'd make sure that I go to the pharmacy and get a, a brand new bottle of Pepto. Well, as of now, it would probably be my, uh, my I, I guess I call it my gym bag. Um, it's my bag that I bring with me that has, you know, like the, the yoga mat, it's got my whey protein, my vitamins, my fish oils, and and uh, the resistance bands. I can't bring my, my dumbbells with me because they weigh way too much, so I've got the resistance bands with me. I would probably say now that that's probably the thing I can't live without. The best thing about, well, UK touring is different than other countries and in the States. So UK touring, the best thing about touring is the breakfast. No, I love the breakfast so much. Um, and the Ravage fans, you know, um, UK fans, you, you can't, uh, you can't tout them for anything. Uh, they're, they're amazing. And that's the best thing. The worst thing is the, the weather, and the weather and the cold. You know, I'm from Southern California. I, I love sunshine, you know. I think I might take the, the crowd on that one. I say the most ridiculous things sometimes, and I don't even know where it comes from. 
Um, I'm, I, I have like OCD and I'm very, very superstitious. So, you know, if I'm lighting a candle or something and someone gives me like a white lighter, I have to throw the white lighter out because it's bad luck or something. I don't know why I do these things. It's so stupid. Um, once upon a time, we had a security guard working for us that if you're walking in a group, there's a pole in the road. If you say the pole splits the group, you have to spit on the pole or it's bad luck. I don't even believe that shit, but I have to do it now for some reason because he told me to do it. So I'm always spitting on these poles all over the place. Well, I mean, be, to be considerate, I guess, you know, of others, um, you know, as much as possible because you're, you're trapped in this small space, confined space with, uh, with you know, you know, the bandmates, these, these guys, you know, you have to get along, we all have to get along, and it's like, you know, there's times when, and, you know, you want to pull each other's hair out because you get on each other's nerves or whatever. You want to try and keep that peace as much as possible. I, I, I guess when you look at a lot of other bands, sometimes you just can't take everything so seriously, and you just have to, you know, enjoy yourself. Um, you know, like, with all the downtime and everything, and, and, and how monotonous and boring certain things can become, um, it helps when you have, you know, your best friends uh, are in your band and you get to tour with them. To be in a band or to play music of any kind with other people requires that you give yourself the ability to be impressed by the people around you. A lot of times uh, you, you're so isolated in being on tour and you spend so much time um, being in a backstage and thinking your thoughts and maybe you're trying to facilitate something that's happening at home or maintain uh, you know, with a bill that you have to pay or whatever, you know, because just because you're gone from home and on a pirate ship, so to speak, doesn't mean that things stop at home. And so you sometimes can become so introverted that you stop allowing for the opportunity to be impressed by other people. And I think it's paramount for the band dynamic uh, that you see how impressive the people around you are, because that is, after all, the reason why you continue to play with them, because they do something that you cannot, and they do something better than you can. Um, and that's something that's worth respecting. The opportunity to see, wow, that guy is fucking great, and this is why I get to play music with him, and isn't that a great treat for me, is to me the biggest thing that can help you exist in a band dynamic. Fire, 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 fire.